Hey guys, welcome back to the Confirmant RM YouTube channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day getting ourselves back into the BTC two minute technicals. And as you can see, look at that. You know, we were talking about having a move in BTC by no later than Tuesday. And as you can see right here around, you know, beginning of late last night, we started to have a push through the bottom of the trend. And right after we made our video, and then we got a confirmation soon after we go to her to one hour, you can see the confirmation as such right here around uh, midnight last night. You know, like I tell you guys, it doesn't have to go up until the apex, but you see we got a confirmation down below. And what do we do? Do a full move to the bottom side here, almost within about 0.23% of hitting the bottom now at the moment, holding that uh, 1618 as a bottom. So what are we going to have to do right now? We're going to have to look and see how this winds up holding. At the moment, we're going to have a ceiling here on the top side. We're going to go right across the top right here. You can see there's a bit about a ceiling here around 29,694. As you see, it's over here. It's 762 all the way back here, but it'll start to slowly, slowly taper into the 18th. As you can see right now, uh, we can do a little bit of a, a, a bottom side right here. You can even see it comes out here until around mid morning tomorrow. Uh, but what I would do is even further go from the top side here uh, and you'd see it comes out to around uh, tomorrow morning at some point. We're gonna get a nice move either to uh, push into the top side of this trend, trying to break through and hitting around 29,777 or pushing down lower, creating a newer low and hitting around 29,204 and pushing exactly this top of this region right here that we had seen a uh, you know, little neander here. I pull back and then push up. So let's see how that works. Obviously we're pretty oversold uh, here at 23 on the RSI. We have not seen that since the 27th and over here on March 9th. So, I mean, it's been a little bit of time, almost a month since we've had it down there this low. So it's nice to see Bitcoin come back correct and, you know, kind of solidify a breakout from its uh, last contingency of where it has some problematic, uh, you know, uh, issues. So that's good to see. Nonetheless, I would expect uh, myself uh, for bullish continuation, at least to maybe double bottom here uh, or stay at least above that 1618 and start pushing back up. But uh, we're, it, we're pretty much in the floor. We actually turned macro bullish again out of the one hour. And now on the four hour, we actually bounced right off of the 30 on the oversold category. We've done it a few times where we'll, we'll do that, get a relief rally, then come right back down. And as you can see, many times has that happened, but we usually get like a mid macro run here. So let's see how that is, because otherwise uh, what this would tell us is if we did that same kind of movement, you would see uh, a bounce up and it come right back up and then it would take a, a dump again and come back for a double bottom uh, right here. So you see come back, sorry, not double bottom, but a retest of exactly this region. Uh, that it had a contingency for for a while uh, right here at the 28,804 region. So that's what I would be looking for myself. Uh, perhaps this winds up ne uh, neandering a little bit, pushing itself back up to around 30,500 and then coming back down. As you can see, that's exactly what wound up happening over here. You had your break up and your break down, your retest in the middle, a fall, then a break up, retest in the middle, break up, and then technically. Uh, that one actually did a nice little break to the upside, but uh, numerous times has it always done that. So I, I'm just cautious at the moment seeing how this winds up playing out. But all right, guys, you know, we're, we're turning around here on the macro. We got a little bit of, you know, we got quite a bit of ways to actually get turned uh, bullish here on the four hour. So we have quite a bit of ways to price action to the upside before I can really get too bearish. Uh, like no coming back down to a retest of support around 28,804. So at the moment, I'm a okay with 29,442, but I'm just letting you know that. Have a good morning, afternoon, wherever you are. Remember, none of this is financial advice, and I'll see you guys in the next one.